Yo, what up? This the egg long show me rise and grind. Sound beaming out here. Oh, that might help a little bit. RP Kobe always. Got my Kobe shirt on today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I was like, since I had my, my uh, I've been connecting with other long showmen from everywhere. Canada, Texas, Florida, California. Whether they're ILA, ILW, you know, I learned a lot of things. Basically, uh, you know, contracts may be different, pay scale may be different, uh, guarantee hours, that may be different. But one thing that's in common, we all do the same shit. Uh, if we all loan shortens. But let's say like ILW, they. So they seem like they train you more, or you have more opportunities. I ain't gonna say they train you more, but you have more opportunities to get trained on certain things. So you might be driving a train, a local, some kind of locomotive and stuff. So that's good. But anyway, so I'll talk to some, this uh, one person. I forgot what port they would say they was in, but they were saying they're forcing the older guys, you know, the guys that's in a, like on a, every port, it's, it's a group of old men. Well, a lot of old men working, they don't want to leave, they don't want to retire, they're getting hurt, and you know, all that. That's um, that's that's a bad look, for real. Like, if you don't have it now, you definitely not gonna get it now. I understand y'all paved the way and all that stuff, that's cool, that's what's up, we appreciate that. But, uh, yeah, it, it's time for y'all to fall back. Y'all gotta go to y'all rocking chair and watch the news and chill out and go travel the world, man. You don't want to just work, 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 work and die. Yeah, he was a good worker. They gonna talk about your ass for a good week or two. And that gonna be it. Back to work. But shit, when, even when you die, it's shit. They still gonna, uh, they might talk about you here and there a little bit. When I go, when I pay or whatever, they gonna say, yeah, yeah, it was good work he did, this and that, and it's funny. Uh, yeah, he loved to travel. Yeah, you gotta do all that shit, man. I'm not just gonna be one of those working people. I'm just gonna be working my ass off stuff man but the older guy man like i said it's no disrespect to y'all but hell even at our port so we had a couple of old men whatever they slowing up the word they falling asleep at the jaw standing up falling asleep you with the damn you got a ground job stopping the trucks and shit taking pegs all of a sudden and sometimes them pegs be whooping your ass he didn't pass away now for rp teacher yeah 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 the peg was tearing his ass up Falling asleep at the um at the hood by the peg band and a couple of times they say he done fell inside the peg band. I'm like, what? How in the when stuff like that start happening, yeah, man, it's time for y'all to go, man. Y'all gotta go for real. You ain't gotta go, but you gotta get the hell up out of here. Yeah. All that. Y'all slow the process up. We need some young, some young, some the young generation there and uh people that's been there, 15. 20 plus years, whatever. Yeah, we need we need people with experience and the people that with experience need to be teachers. The people that's coming in need to guide them and you know steer them, steer them in the right direction. Yeah, a lot of stuff I've been seeing, man, or hearing about. Yeah, y'all old man, y'all gotta follow back for real, man. I'm gonna be somebody told me oh, yeah. that one person that one dude down there, 93 years old. He don't want to give it up. He'd rather die on the port. I'd rather die on the port with a with a pig in my hand or a, or a pull rod in my hand. But like the old guys, you know they start getting old and some on they that they, they don't come on the boat or they barely come on the boat. They stay on the ground. But shit, you better get you a truck. But then again, hell no, that truck gonna wear your ass out too. Old age, and then y'all not taking care of your body. And then by you driving those trucks, and then dropping them loads on tow truck, just rocking, rocking on your ass, they gonna tear your ass up right there. Yes, sir. They gonna tear your ass up. Y'all don't go to the doctor like you're supposed to. You don't go to the chiropractor. You don't get massages. Yeah, you have to do all that. And but when you don't do this, when you don't do that, it's an issue. Like I say we ain't, so I ain't gonna say we we pushing y'all bears. This other poor they what they told me they doing, they making all they on old people retire. They say they don't like that shit. Shit, I don't know why you don't like it. You ought to be glad. 
But I guess I could. A lot of them feel like, damn, if I retire now, what the, what the, what I'm gonna do? I got all this money. What the hell I'm gonna do? Shit, go travel the world. You don't want to retire, and then once you retire, shit, a month, a couple months later, or a year later down the road, you end up passing. No, man, you don't do that. That's not the way to do it. But yeah, that's just that's my thoughts on that, man. Like I said, man, they uh, old man, y'all gotta follow back. Y'all time up. It's over with. Like if you in good tip top shape, all right, cool, man. If you slowing the, the work down and and causing issues on the job, yeah, it, it's time for your ass to go. But I'ma holler at y'all, man. I'm Eric Long Shoreman. Y'all don't forget to support the page, like, share, comment. Uh, pushing on, pushing up on a thousand subscribers, man. So y'all spread the word, man. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Check them out. Hey, you don't need to be driving no goddamn Fort Lil. You need to retire. Go home, go to your rocket chair, read your newspaper. Go home, go to your rocket chair, and read your newspaper. You gotta go, you gotta retire. I'm tired of seeing your ass.